Oh, I mean, these are all aftermarket things we're making, all custom one-off things, and so they have to fit right. I'm Josh Freeman, and uh, this is Freeman Fabrication here in Denton, Texas. Originally from California, originally, originally from Wisconsin. Um, always into cars. I mean, my dad was a race car driver. I grew up in that scene. I, I just constantly was drawing my dad's race car, so I was into the art side of things for sure. I always designed his paint jobs on his race car. Um, always wanted to be a race car driver because dad was a race car driver. You actually couldn't race until you were 18. Um, but the next best thing for me was BMX racing. I mean, I always loved the mechanical side of things. Like I said, I, I built a BMX bike when I was a kid. Um, I, I, every Christmas, every birthday was, I'm looking through the old BMX Plus, looking at, at Dan's, you know what I mean? There was no online anything, you know, this is 90, one, two, three, four, five, you know what I mean? And I'm looking, I'm looking through Dan's, uh, Dan's and BMX Plus, and I want that frame, and I need these cranks, and riding my bike across town to go to the, uh, you know, the bike store, the BMX shop, and, and I mean, it was huge for me because it was the opportunity for me to race and compete and uh, get to the track and, and just compete and race. And, and I mean, Rad was a, just a movie that was out long before I was even into it. It's kind of what got me into it. You know, um, I just love, I, I love the whole BMX side of things. Yeah, I think I learned a lot, you know, doing, you know, in California, being a body man for like 15 plus years, maybe even longer. And uh, I always built custom trucks in the, in the meantime, you know, always had a spot. I worked at a smaller shop, so I was able to have my truck in the shop and, and build a, you know, build a custom truck on the side, which really was what I loved. It's what kept me going. I did the body shop thing just because it was money. The metalwork on a, on a car is super important because that's where it all starts from. If you, if you actually don't do the metalwork properly, you can do all the body work you want, all the paint work you want, and then in a couple of years it just looks like garbage because the metal fails from underneath, you know? And, and uh, I think that that's what kind of um, led me into the direction of, of doing sheet metal work. I like the idea of designing something. I like the idea of a flow of something. I like the idea of... So, uh, you know, ultimately it just starts off as a big piece of sheet metal, a four by eight sheet of 18 gauge, and you can make it into anything you want. I mean, you can make it into a, a hammerhead shark or a hammerhead truck or a, or a sphere or, a, you know, it's some nice flowing lines or a, something square, something simple, something clean with no bead rolls or bead rolls or, I mean, the options are endless. So Hammerhead's a truck that kind of started it all for frame and fabrication, um, has a bluish gray paint job. The front end is really nice and wide. It kind of resembles a hammerhead shark, hence the name Hammerhead. My son was super into sharks at the time, so we wanted a shark themed vehicle. Started at the body shop when, when I was double, double dipping, doing the body shop work and building the truck at the same time. The short time frame we had to get this thing ready for SEMA for Vortex Superchargers, it just wasn't gonna happen. I've always been told I should have my own shop. What a great opportunity to actually quit my job. My wife was cool enough to let me quit my job and just finish this truck at my buddy's shop. This is our kind of our calling card. It's what ended up giving us the opportunity to come out to Texas and work for Aaron at Arclight and Gas Monkey Garage, you know, with Richard. And, and so this truck kind of means a lot to us. We built it for our son uh, and also for autism awareness. That's why this blue color is the color it is. Um, we want to light it up blue everywhere we go with this truck and, and show everybody, you know, that we support um, you know, all things autism, you know, and try to help out. There's a ton of modifications and, and a ton of blood, sweat, and tears into this thing, and I'm really proud of it. And then after building Hammerhead, and going about a year into uh, Freeman Fabrication, and I got a phone call from, from Aaron. Aaron asked me to come be one of the fabricators on the show he was going, and it ended up working out really well. In a way, a lightning kind of struck twice, and I got to work over at Gas Monkey. Just stopped by there one day just to see the place, and uh, ended up talking to Richard, and he hired me the next day. I mean, I had a great two and a half years there, built a bunch of cool cars, uh, met a lot of really cool people, and realized that where I wanted to be was in my own spot, you know, because that was the thing I'd started before I left, and, and it's kind of what got me to Texas in the first place. The reason I got the call is because of the, my workmanship and the stuff that I've built. So I figured I'm gonna bank on myself and, and start up framing fabrication here again. So we got this spot here in Denton, Texas, and um, it's like a family, you know, you, you constantly have people referring you, which was huge, you know, which I'm really looking forward to, to getting that back here in, in Texas and um, getting that well to pull from so I can stay busy and pick and choose my work and, and uh, start killing it here at Freeman Fabrication, you know?